Okay, so welcome. And in this video, we will be going through how to do mail merge using uh, Microsoft Word. Okay, so using Microsoft Word, we will be performing an activity called mail merge. Uh, so in order to, to complete this activity, I have two assignments that I have uh, ar arranged for myself. We will be going through these two assignments. Okay, so opening up the first assignment. So let me also first tell you what mail merge is all about. Okay. So this particular notice over here, so there has been a notice that has been typed here, and this notice is supposed to go out to various parents, okay? This notice is supposed to go out to various parents. Now, it is the same notice. All the parents are going to get the same notice with some personalizations made to it, okay? So each notice should have a parent's name, should have that parent's outstanding amount, and should have that parent's child name appearing, the rest is all going to be the same. Is it clear? So I'll repeat myself again. I want this notice to go out to multiple parents or multiple students. Okay. And in each notice, even though the notice is the same, I want only the parent name to change, the amount to change, and the child name to change. So each notice will have a different parent name. Okay. I hope you are following with, uh, following with me. Okay. So in my folder over here, in my folder over here, I have the contacts, okay, I have the contacts, I have the list of parents who are supposed to receive this notice, okay, so in Excel, let me just open this up and show you, so over here, so over here, you can see these are the uh, list of students, so you can see the list of parents who are supposed to receive this notice, so over here in Excel, I have the child's grade, I have the child's name, the parent's name, and the outstanding fee amount, how much they owe. So now what I need is I want this information. I want this information to be exported into Microsoft Word. Okay. And once these contact details have been exported into Microsoft Word, once they have been brought into Microsoft Word, I want a separate notice or a separate letter. Okay. Created for each parent. So what I mean is, let me uh, put it over here. So for example, if we go with the first record, Okay, so over here, I want the parent name Karna Ratna to appear over here. Then for the amount, automatically 25,000 should appear over here. For child name, automatically Dimut should appear over here. You get it? So I want this information automatically to come into Microsoft Word. Okay, and then what should happen is each parent, that is Karna Ratna, should receive a separate notice. Chandiman should receive a different notice. Mendy should receive a different notice. <laughs> I want each of them to receive separate notices, okay? So we will be using a feature called mail merge in order to achieve this, okay? Let me show you how it's done. So what we do is in Microsoft Word, now I have my letter already typed, okay? My letter is already typed and I have already told, have already mentioned where the parent name should come. So I have put this parenthesis and I have told, this is where the uh, parent name should appear. This is where the amount should appear. This is where the child name should appear. So I have already indicated where I want this information to appear. Okay. Right. Now we move on to the mailing step. Okay. Right. In your, in your ribbon at the top, you have the mailing step. So we go into the mailing step. And now there are two ways of doing it. You can go step by step using this. You can click on start mail merge and then go step by step. This is one way of doing it. Okay. The second way of doing it, the method that I prefer where you directly get things started is where you click on select recipients. So select recipients is basically who is going to receive this letter? Who is going to receive this letter? That is what select recipients mean. Okay. So I come and click on select recipients and I say use an existing list because the contact list is already created. It's already created and saved on my computer. Okay. So I come and say use an existing list okay so as soon as i click on this microsoft word asks me okay where is your list located so i tell microsoft word my list is located for me it's on the desktop there is a folder called mail merge and it's inside this this is where my contacts are this is where my list is okay then i click on open okay so then microsoft word asks me do you want us to take sheet number one do you want us to take the information in sheet number one let me go and check. Yes, it is sheet number one. Can you see the name of this sheet is sheet number one. So I want them to take the information from sheet number one. 
Okay. Then there is another thing which says first row of data contains column headers. So my question is at my computer, Microsoft Word is asking me a question. Is the first row of data containing the headers? So as you see over here, yes, the first row of this Excel sheet is the headings, is the column headings, grade, student name, parent name, outstanding fee. These are column headings, okay? So make sure that this box is ticked, which means yes, the first row is just headings. Do not consider that as recipients, okay? So then we go and click on OK, which means we are good to go. So now the data has been exported into Microsoft Word. Sorry, I'm using the wrong word. It has been imported, isn't it? It has now been brought into Microsoft Word. It has been imported into Microsoft Word, okay? These contacts have now been imported into Microsoft Word. Okay, I'll show you where it is, not now. Right, now we have to come in. Now, for example, if you come into... Uh, edit recipient list, can you see your data has been imported, okay? If you click on edit recipient list, it's showing you the grade column has been taken, the student name column has been taken, the parent name column has been taken, the outstanding fee amount column has been taken. All these columns have been taken into Microsoft Word. Okay, guys, now what you need to do is, now what you need to do is, you need to go and tell Microsoft Word where to insert the parent name, where to insert the amount, where to insert the child name. You get it? Now, if you come to insert merge field, when you click on insert merge field, insert merge field is inside the mailing tab. Okay. Insert merge field can be found inside the mailing tab. So when you click on the mailing tab and when you click on insert merge field, it's showing you all the columns. It's showing you the four columns that were present in Microsoft Excel. Shall I show you? These four columns, they are present in Microsoft Excel. Do you see grade, student name, parent name, outstanding fee amount? These four columns, okay, is over here as well, okay? So now we have to tell our computer where to insert this data. You get it? So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this area. I'm going to select this area, carefully select it. Make sure that there is a space after the year. And then come and insert the parent name column. Okay, insert the parent name column in this space. Okay, I have selected this space already. Now I simply come and say insert the parent name over there. You see guys, so now I have told my computer where to put the parent name. Okay, now we also have another field which is the outstanding fee amount. So now I have to tell my computer where to insert the outstanding fee amount. Okay, this column outstanding fee amount, I have to tell my computer where to insert it. Okay. So I come and select amount very carefully, okay? RS means rupees, okay? So it had that I need the currency to be visible. So I carefully select only amount, okay? Make sure there is a space after the dot. And then I come to insert merge field and say, put the amount over there. Okay, so outstanding fee amount appears over there. Then finally, there is one more thing remaining, which is the child's name. Child name also needs to be inserted. So I carefully select this area, very carefully, make sure you don't select the full stop. So it might, it might be a little difficult to only select that. Okay, but once you do select it, then come to insert merge field and say the student name will appear in this gap. Okay, student name comes in this gap. Okay, I hope it makes sense, okay? Right, now before you finalize your letter, before you go ahead and merge it, right now you have told your computer where to insert the data. You have told your computer parent name detail should come here. Outstanding fee amount detail should come here. Student name detail should come here. Now before you finalize it, before you confirm it, go and check is everything looking good. Okay, so in the mailings tab, you have something called, uh, over here we have something called preview results. Preview results means you just want to check is it all right or not before you confirm. So you click on preview. So it shows you right now we are in preview mode. Okay, right now we are in preview mode. So it says, dear Karna Ratna, please be informed that you have an outstanding amount of 25,000 for your child, Dimit. So it looks all right. Okay, there doesn't seem to be a problem. If you want to check the next child, if you want to check the next one, just click on this arrow. Dear Chandimal, please be informed. It looks all right, okay? There doesn't seem to be a problem, but I would make one suggestion. I would make one suggestion, which is to put a comma after this point, okay? Which is to put a comma 
Okay, so I'll switch off preview. I'll switch off preview. And after parent name, I'll put a comma. Okay, let's go and preview it again. Let's go and preview it again. Now it looks better. Dear Chandimal, please be informed that you have an, that, that you have an outstanding amount of rupees 3,000 for your child, G Dinesh. It looks all right now. Okay, if you want to check the other notices, you can click on this arrow and check the others as well. Okay. Now, once you're, I'm going to switch off preview. I'm going to switch off preview. Once you are satisfied with how this looks, okay, you are satisfied with the output and all that. Now you can go ahead and finalize your letter. So now when you go ahead and finalize, once you go ahead and confirm the merge, okay, once you go ahead and confirm the merge, basically what will happen is it will create a separate notice for each parent. So Karna Ratna will get a notice. Chandima will get a notice. Mendis will get a notice. Karna Ratna will get a notice. And Matthews will get a notice. Okay. So let's go and do that. Let's click on in, in the mailing tab. We have something called finish and merge. So we click on finish and merge and we click on edit individual documents. Okay. Edit individual documents. So the computer asks, do you want to merge all of them? Do you want to merge all? How many were there? There are five. Do you want to merge all five? We say, yes, we want to merge all five. And as soon as we click OK, as soon as we click OK, can you see a new Word document has been created? Can you see? This was the document where we did the merging on. Now, once we merged it, a new Word document has been created with all the letters. So you have one for Karnaratna, one for Chandimal, one for Mendis, this is another Karna Ratna, and one for Matthews. Okay. As soon as you merge it, you get five different letters. Okay. Because there are five students. So now you can decide whether you want to print this or whether you want to save this. Okay. So I'm going to save it. And I'm going to save it on the desktop. I'm going to save it as uh, letters for printing. And click on save okay so that's how mail merge is done okay i hope it was quite easy i hope it makes uh <clears throat> sense for you okay mail merge is pretty easy okay in the next video in the next video we will be doing mail merge but in a slightly different way okay so right now we did it for a letter in our next video we will be doing mail merge for an envelope okay so see you in the next video